Also in Ypsilanti, a tense and volatile standoff. Police spending eight hours negotiating with a 70-year-old barricaded gunman. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park is at the scene with the latest. Residents living along Ohio Street in Ypsilanti spent a tense eight hours Sunday as police talked down a barricaded man threatening to kill himself. For much of the day, neighbors with a front row view to this police activity were asked to stay inside their homes. The police shut the road and SWAT team show up and we see the gun and say, oh my God, is something serious. I was kind of nervous because they had really big guns and they were all running down there. Down the street, Washington County Sheriff's deputies, the SWAT team and negotiators were trying to reason with a 70-year-old veteran who had called a crisis hotline threatening suicide. Surprising, his next door neighbor tells us, because the man seemed friendly and often sat out on the porch. He, he all the time be outside with, uh, with us, like uh, 6 o'clock, he come out and then we, we say hi and then that's it, but, and then he keep playing with his two dogs outside. The barricaded man threatened to shoot officers if they entered his house. Police taped off the area as a precaution as negotiations continued for almost eight hours. The man came outside unarmed around 5 p.m. and was seen being whisked to a local hospital for a mental health treatment. It was so strange. We are here for 23 years. We never had that. I'm so happy probably he's, he's safe now. A Washtenaw County Sheriff's spokesman tells us authorities had responded three times in the last two years to that home, each time because of mental health concerns. In Ypsilanti, Jane Park, 7 Action News.